Haida! Hey dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z and I do tons of fun feminine content on this channel. So if that's something you're into, please make sure you hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All of my social medias will be sprinkled in the description box below. So now that you know everything you need to know, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay dolls, welcome back to another Fragrance Friday. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Now, I have never, ever, ever smelled this before. So this is a blind buy for me. I have no idea what this is gonna smell like. We will be reading description, however, to get an idea of what's to come. But you guys, let's go ahead and get into unboxing this little baby. First of all, the packaging, Juicy Couture, like, ah, it's just giving Lux. It's giving babe. It's giving main character era vibes with the Juicy Couture packaging. Like, I am so obsessed with this. I quite literally want to keep it in its box and keep it in my vanity. I think it's just so pretty. It has flowers all over it. So I'm expecting this to be a floral fragrance. And just a quick disclaimer, I am a gourmand girly. So I love sweet cookie cake like scents. That's just my style. However, I am focusing this year into getting into newer like fragrance notes and things of that nature and just new fragrance profiles as a whole so I wanted to try out something new and I felt like this is the perfect thing I also thought about like collecting all of these and trying them all I did see that they had an orange one and I was like oh if that smells like orange creamsicle I'm gonna need to come back for you but this one won this time this was I believe under $20 I want to say it was like $17 at $16.99 somewhere around that and I did pick it up at Burlington they also sell this at Ross and you can find it at Marshalls and TJ Maxx as well but the packaging is life for me <gasps> you guys look at that pink insert see dolls know I love me a cute pink insert and of course the packaging now I'm not gonna lie to you dolls I did already open this up if you guys saw my juice couture haul then you know I opened the box I wanted to see the bottle so so badly and it's so cute but I did not smell it no I just opened the box look at how pretty she is now it is resembling the traditional juicy couture bottle i will say out of all the juicy couture perfumes that i have tried my favorite one is the original viva la juicy i just feel like that one smells the best out of all of them so far and i love the packaging of that one and this one looks just like it super super cute but with the flowers on there i think that's nice now the lettering does look a little beat up but i think that's the design because it's like all over it it's not like in one little spot so cute it has like the little charms as it traditionally does and i just love the bow everything about it is so cute okay doll so let's go ahead and get into reading the description okay so the description reads viva le juicy le fleur perfume by juicy couture is an auto toilet spray so i'm not expecting it to be too strong because it is an auto toilet and that's different from a perfume it's a lot less potent and it doesn't last as long so it says, stay in touch with your fun, flirty side with the delicious Viva Le Juicy Le Fleur for women. Your acquaintances will want to eat you right up when... Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Your acquaintances will want to eat you right up when this playful fragrance hits their noses. Bright notes of mandarin orange and red berries make a startling first impression, while yummy base notes of vanilla and caramel leave them wanting more. I'm gonna start out by spraying it in the air first so we can get an atmosphere test and just see what it smells like. Like I've said in many other videos, I like to do an atmosphere test first because not everyone wears perfume on their actual skin. Some people have really uh, sensitive skin and they can't wear perfume on their skin, so they spray it in their clothes or they spray it in the air so I want to give those people a test review as well and I also just want to see what it smells like on the cold sniff and then we're gonna put it on my skin and then we're gonna get a sense of what it smells like when it starts to warm up with my skin and the chemistry of my body so let's go ahead and start out with a cold sniff 
So let's go ahead and get a whiff. Ooh, it came out so light. I like that. Okay. What? Okay, it smells good, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. This is giving spring to summer hottie vibes. But I am gonna be honest. It does smell a lot like the original Viva La Juicy, okay? When I smell this fragrance, the first thing that started coming to mind was like nostalgia from college when I used to wear the original Juicy Couture perfume every single day and second of my life because I was obsessed with it. That's what it's giving me. It brought me right back to those days. It smells so good. You get the bright, vibrant, fruity notes, but you also get a strong floral note. And there's also this musky vanilla note as well. What I would say is that it smells a little lighter than the original Viva La Juicy. Now, I don't know if it's because this is an eau de toilette and the original Viva La Juicy is an actual perfume. I'm not entirely sure if it's something like that or if it's just the fact that the notes in this one are a little bit just lighter. Um, the notes in the original Viva La Juicy, that Magnolia note was so strong. You get the Magnolia in here, but it's not super, super overpowering. I would say the fruit and the floral are like equally married together. Also, the muskiness of the vanilla is very light and airy as well. It's not like a dense musky note. I feel like this isn't as potent in the air as the original Viva La Juicy is to me, but it still smells like Viva La Juicy, only to me a little bit more floral. This is giving me picnic at the park with like flowers, eating fresh berries and laying up and cuddling with your best friend or your best partner or whatever have you. This is giving me those vibes. There's something about this fragrance that's just so exciting. I don't know how to describe it, but it just makes me want to do something. Definitely telling that playful story that they mentioned in the description. I I love it in the air. I really do. This is definitely a bright fragrance. Now, the only thing I'm having a little bit of trouble of getting in the air is the caramel note that they mentioned. However, I know caramel is a warm, sweet note, and that tends to come out on the skin a lot more than in the air. This is definitely, to me, a daytime scent. Definitely a spring to summer type scent. I really do love this scent. I feel like it definitely tells the story very, very nice. My brother does have a wedding coming up soon and I've been thinking about what perfume I want to wear to the wedding and I wanna wear something special to it because I wanna be able to remember the wedding when I spray the fragrance. So I'm trying to think of what type of fragrance, if I have anything in my collection for that. This could definitely be a nice wedding fragrance as well, but I just don't know if it'll last all day. So that's kind of why I like gravitated towards this one instead of the orange one that I saw because I was like, you know what? I do have to go to my brother's wedding and I do need to pick up something for that. So maybe like floral and sweet floral would be nice. I don't know. It smells really good. But anyways, I do like this. We're gonna try it on our skin. Oh yeah, this is Viva La Juicy. This is Viva La Juicy all the way. This is the original Juicy Couture perfume to me with a little bit more floral, I would say. Like, I smell like a little bit more of like a peony note in there, but the magnolia is coming out very strongly on my skin. Also getting the vanilla and the caramel is coming through on my skin a lot more, you guys, which I suspect it would happen. So I am absolutely floored by this because now I feel like though, I have like three perfumes that smell like the original Juicy Couture. Like, I don't know if I should buy any more, you guys, because they're all starting to smell like exactly like the original. Like this smells a little bit different. Like I said, it's a lot lighter and it smells a little bit more florally. Sorry about my voice is going in and out. I do have a cold that I'm getting over. So that's what that is. But yeah, I'm like, should I review any more of these? Cause they all smell like the original, I don't know. Just lighter and more florally, that's what I would say. I absolutely love this. This is really, really nice. But again, I love the original Juicy Couture perfume. So of course I'm gonna love this one because it smells just like it. You guys let me know in the comments below any other Juicy Couture perfumes you want me to try out. I would be interested to see how all of them smell. Like if they all smell just like the original. I know Ra Ra Rouge does not because I have that one and I reviewed it and it smells 
like Juicy Couture, but different, and I like that. They do have the orange one, and I'm thinking about picking that up. I believe that's also from that Rainbow Rouge collection. So I might try that out, but yeah, this smells just like the original, y'all. So if you have the original, I say don't waste your money. That's me personally, unless you like lighter scents and you like more floral, um, then go ahead. But to me, I'm just like, girl, don't waste your money. Or if you if you run out of the original and you can't find it, because it is hard sometimes to find the original at Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, um, I say you could pick up this one and it smells exactly like the original, girl. Okay, Dolly, so let's go ahead and get into the final ratings of this fragrance. Let's start out with packaging. You dolls know I adore the packaging. I think Juicy Couture has such a great eye for design and packaging, so I absolutely love it. The bottle definitely told a story, a bright, vibrant, fruity floral story. I love that they put like the roses on the bottle, still sticking with their traditional shape of their bottle and design, but just turning it up a little bit by adding the roses and things like that. I love that Juicy Couture does the bow with the charm, their signature. It's just, you know what you're getting when you see it. Like you're like, oh, that's juicy. And that's what you really want as a brand when you're branding yourself, to have that signature touch to every single thing that you do, while also being able to create new things and get people excited about something different. So I love how they did this, the little J charm. Like it's just everything, it's giving me life. You dolls know already I love the packaging. So for me, I'm going to give the packaging a 10 out of 10 for me. I feel like it's definitely on brand with them for sure. And they also did very well with like switching it up a little bit by adding the roses on the bottle. The only thing I could say if they wanted to take it up like a million notches, I know Viva Le Juicy Le Bubbly has like a base to it. And this is the smaller uh, version, I think. This is like a one ounce. What? Yeah, this is a 2.5 ounce. So it's a little smaller than the original big bottle. But I know the Le Bubbly has a base to it and it's so gorgeous. So I feel like if they wanted to take this fragrance up a notch, they really could give it a base. Now, I don't know if this fragrance typically has a base for the four ounce bottle, but just not for the smaller bottles because I know smaller bottles don't typically have like a base to them. Um, but they could do like the bottle sitting in like a bed full of roses in the base that would be cute that would knock it out of the park i actually want to change my rating and say it's not a 10 out of 10 because i do feel like they could have done that only because they have done it in the past like i believe viva la juicy la sacre sacre i don't know how to pronounce it but it has like a cupcake stand like bottom to it and i thought that that was just so genius i am on the hunt for that one dolls um, so I do feel like they do do the, the base sometimes, so they could have done it with this packaging. You'd also let me know if the 4 ounce does have a base to it. Um, so I am going to change my rating. I'm going to give it a 9.5. I feel like what it would have took it up to a 10 is if it had the floral base. But other than that, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. They definitely know what they're doing, and it definitely sold me. Let's go ahead and talk about price point. Now, this is a 2.5 ounce, and I believe I paid around $17 for this at Burlington. I would only buy these at Burlington and Marshalls only because I know that I can um, but if you purchase it from Macy's because they do sell it at Macy's it's a lot more expensive. I have purchased Juicy Couture fragrances from Macy's before and to me it's still worth it because their fragrances last so long and they are so potent and they do smell so freaking good like it's worth the money so for it to be like under $20 and getting a 2.5 ounce I definitely think it's worth it I will say that I did spray it on and it is not an oil based fragrance it did dry quite quickly onto my skin I still smell it pretty strongly but it is definitely a much more lighter fragrance than Lay Bubbly and, and also a lot lighter than the original Juicy Couture um, fragrance. And I also, like I said, I tend to lean towards fragrances that have a oil base. I just find that those fragrances last a lot longer on my skin. But this one is doing quite well, actually. It's still going pretty strong in the air and on my skin as a whole without having the oil base. So I still think that it's a really good fragrance for that. So price point, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I feel like you, this is a steal, you guys. I definitely feel like it's a steal. Um, if you can get your hands on this at your local Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls, do go ahead and pick it up, especially if you're an original Juicy Couture fan. and also if you love floral fruity scents. 
Okay dolls, so let's go ahead and talk about potency. I was expecting the potency on this to be quite high. The level of potency is a pretty decent potency level. To me, it's not as high as I was expecting. It's because the original Viva La Juicy fragrance is so high in its potency. Even Le Bubbly is super high potency level. Ra Ra Rouge, the potency on that is a whole nother level. It's giving Victoria's Secret bombshell. It's giving. This is giving with the potency, but it's not over the top. I think it's the perfect level of potency, especially for a fragrance like this. I don't tend to lean towards floral fragrances, so I like them to be a lot lighter, and I love how it married very well with the berries and that warm vanilla and caramel base on the come down on my skin just made it a lot more inviting and a lot less, not necessarily less potent, but not as strong as the other Juicy Couture fragrances that I've smelt in the past. So I feel like this is a lot of more of a lighter scent. Like I said before, I would compare it to the original Juicy Couture, only more floral and a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna give potency level on this a, hmm. I'm gonna give potency level on this a 9.5 as well. I feel like it's very high potency level. It's just not the expectation that I had for a Juice Couture perfume. However, this is an eau de toilette. So considering that it's an eau de toilette, I would go ahead and give it a 10 because an eau de toilette is pretty much like a body mist. It's not meant to be super potent. It's not meant to last all day. So I do feel like it's doing a really good job for what it is. So yeah, considering that it's an order toilet, I would give it a 10. But if I was to compare it to my other Juicy Couture perfumes, I would give it a 9.5 on potency. Let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance notes. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This smells exactly like the original Juicy Couture, like I said to you guys at the beginning of the video. I will say that I am a little bit disappointed by the fact that it didn't smell super different from the original because I wanted it to smell very distinctively like a different perfume and I did not get that so I do have a little bit of disappointment with the fragrance notes in that sense but as far as does it smell like mandarin does it smell like berries does it smell like magnolia does it smell do you smell the fruity floral vibes is it bright is it vibrant are you getting the caramel and the vanilla and all of the notes that they mentioned absolutely you do get the notes that they mentioned everything that they described I did smell in this fragrance on that side I wasn't disappointed but on the side of just I wish it would smell a little bit different than the original I was a little bit disappointed at that I feel like they could have added more floral but at the same time I'm not a floral girly so I probably wouldn't have liked it if they'd add more floral the only reason why I would say add more floral is because to make it smell just a little bit like a little bit more distinctive and a little bit more different than the original but that is yeah, that's my thoughts on the fragrance notes, you guys. But in terms of like overall the fragrance notes and what they mentioned in the description, I would give this a 8.5 for me because I feel like it is the original perfume and I was expecting something a little different and I'm disappointed on that forefront. So I would go ahead and give it an 8.5, but it is a very delicious scent. And like I said, if you are a floral fruity girly, you are going to probably love this scent. Also, if you are a fan of the other Juicy Couture perfumes, you'll probably like this one too. So yeah, 8.5 for fragrance notes. Let's go ahead and discuss the longevity in the comments below. I know I say that all the time and then I forget to go in the comments below, but I will be doing a lot better with that, dolls. I will definitely be trying to check the comments below and give you an update on longevity. So for me, it's in the air and it fell a little bit sooner than I had expected. I don't really smell it that much in the air. It's a little bit faint in the air, but I do smell it still quite strongly on my skin so longevity we've only been sitting here a few minutes i can't really give you an accurate longevity test i will let you dolls know in the comments below how long it lasted on my skin today let's talk overall overall would i buy this fragrance again mm, absolutely i would buy this fragrance again if i couldn't find the original viva la juicy fragrance and i needed to find something close to that i would purchase this fragrance because it smells damn near identical <laughs> so yeah i would purchase this fragrance again i do like this fragrance quite a lot overall i would give it a mm, i would give this fragrance an eight overall it's not the original viva la juicy but it's really close i would rate this fragrance overall 
a 8 out of 10 overall I really do like it and I do see myself picking it up again in the future so yes this gets an 8 for me and I love it so that was it dollies that will conclude this week's perfume review I hope you dolls enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe leave a little comment down below and let me know what fragrance you'd like me to try out next I am trying to get through the list of fragrances you guys want me to try out but they're so hard to find they're also very expensive so it takes time to like budget out for that but anyways i love you dolls i hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment below even if it's just a little heart emoji i just want to say i appreciate you dolls and it really does inspire me to continue making content when you like the video and you leave a little thumbs up it lets me know that you enjoy the videos and i love to continue making them for you guys anyways enough rambling i love you don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye Bye dolls. Bind. Bind. Let's go ahead and get into reading the description. Okay, so the description. Ooh, I'm a little dark. By Juicy Couture. <sighs> am I recording right now? Oh yeah, I am. Harm, I love the Juicy Couture. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I love the Juicy Couture. Why can I not talk? Especially if the plane keeps going around in circles. Which fragrances you dolls want me to try out next? Are you kidding me?